Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I think it's time we visit the new area known as the Forest Naval. So let's start. The music, it's muted, it's calming. But don't be fooled, this area is where the game starts getting serious. Anyway, I think I am going to take out... I'm trying to think of the Pikmin that I need here. I'm going to take out 50 red. Need for all the stuff that I'm going to do this part. And... I have 15 yellow. And then I think what I'm going to have them do here is take out this wall, because this wall is kind of annoying. It's a good reason to take out a wall, right? <laughs> wall in your way? Just take it out! Now if you look on your map, you'll see that there's a blue dot over here, if you don't notice it. Yeah, it's right there. I am going to go see what that blue dot is. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah! Yep, It's Blue Pikmin! Alright, now I gotta wait for it to pop out of the ground... eventually. Come on! Go, 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 go! There we go! Oh, they're all so cute! It is a Pikmin of yet another color! Near this one's cheeks is what appears to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that this blue type of Pikmin can enter the water without any trouble whatsoever. There's only one way to find out. Uh... It's in the water right now, Olimar! He is clearly not the brightest bulb. Uh, anyway, I'm going to attack that flower and get it to take the pellet back to the onion. There's a bread bug roaming around here that I would actually think is beneficial to get the part from this part because I'm just in this area and this part I'm going to be... Oh, they're done with the wall already? Wow. Because what I need to do in this part is start breeding up the uh, blue Pikmin for the future areas. It's another setup part basically where I'm going to be... Yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Uh, where is that? Oh, there's the bread bug. That is the bread bug, and it's got a ship part that we need. In fact, you, come over here. See this pellet? Yeah, take it. Or at least try to take it. See, this is what happens. He's going to try and take it back to his nest, but if you put more Pikmin on whatever it's trying to carry back to its nest, it will take it over to the onion, and this is the easiest way to cause damage to it. I'm just going to pluck these out of the ground. Just watch this. <laughs> And you'll notice that it's still got a little bit of life left in it. Well, I'll take care of that right now, but I'd like to do it on land, because otherwise I'm going to have to use... Um, oh, come on. Oh, 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 there we go. Inside it is the Space Float! I didn't want it to drop in the water, because if it plopped in the water, I'd, I'd have to use blue Pikmin to get it out of there, because no other Pikmin can, can go in the water except for the blue ones. They'll drown. Uh, speaking of, if a Pikmin is starting to drown... Uh, this, because this is the first area of water, is going to be kind of a factor for you in the game. Whistle, whistle at it, like if a Pikmin's in the water like, like that, whistle at it on land, and it should save itself. It should swim back to shore before it drowns, but sometimes death via drowning is inevitable, so... Just do your best, I suppose. And should probably get that five pellet back here. Because it's just right there, yeah. <laughs> um, maybe I should grab that red bug. Mm, come on. Where's the other ones? Oh, they were the ones I thought were with me. I they're apparently still around the um, pellet. And that'll give me some more blue. What does a space flow take? I think it's like 25. Yeah, it's 25. Okay, I can't use just the blues to get it back. I'm not sure I'll be breeding that many blues this part anyway, actually. And in case you don't realize, the reason why I left some space open was because I am focusing on 
uh, getting the blues out immediately and I'd have to go back to base if I had a hundred Pikmin in the field while I'm trying to breed blues. And yeah, that would be kind of an issue. That's why I was trying to uh, calculate how many Pikmin I would need out on the field and whatnot to do stuff. Uh, let's show you some stuff around this area like that that you can do here. There's a ship part way, way, way down there. Um, over here. Oh, this is Steam Jet. It pushes you up to a higher level because you can't jump in this game in case you didn't know that. And these rocks here are similar to grass in that you can find nectar inside it every once in a while. Come on, with me. And don't attack the flowers. I need them to grow back so I can get pellets out of them. Dang it. Am I, am I going to get any nectar for my blues here? Ah, yes. Don't go in the nectar just yet. I want to get as many. Oh, dang it. Such gluttons. <laughs> now, that didn't work out all that well, but whatever. So, the space float is down there. And another ship part that I would like to get is... It's not there. It's... What are you attacking? Oh, the steam jet. They can uncover... Um, I'll just use the Pikmin to speed this up a little bit. You can make the speed jets... Uh, speed, yes, yeah, steam jets active by attacking them with Pikmin. Uh, this is a bridge. Be careful in this area when building bridges. Um, because in this area, for some reason, there's a glitch that if Pikmin are underneath the bridge, either when it's built or being built, and a after it's finished, what'll happen is that the Pikmin will get pushed through the ground into the abyss and get killed off. There is a uh, bottomless... I was gonna say bottomless trap hole. I've been playing too much Yu-Gi-Oh lately. <laughs> There's a bottomless pit uh, around this area and yeah, it, it, it's kind of maybe maybe that's the reason why Pikmin can get lost there is because of that fact. Um, there's these sticks here as well. These sticks you can build to get Pikmin up to higher areas faster, like that. But see, they'll just climb up there on their own. And oh geez, who? Ah! Who was eating nectar there anyway? I don't know. But as you can see, I'm just setting stuff up this part and I'm looking for... Oh, that's it! There it is. This is what I need. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You could be helpful. The honey wisp up there. If you throw a Pikmin up there, it'll knock... Yeah, it'll knock the nectar out of their hands. And then you'll be able to use it on your Pikmin, whichever Pikmin need it. Eat it, eat it! Uh, I don't think I did a good enough job there, but whatever. I'm still going to be focusing mostly on building blues here. Don't let Pikmin drop off the ground. Just let them grab onto those sticks themselves. And, oh, actually, come to think of it, I should be using reds on that. Because down there are a new enemy type called the Fiery Blowhog. And they are, as you would expect, fiery. Oh, no! Dang, you guys. Don't try to knock down that wall. You're not going to get anywhere. It's not the kind of wall you can knock down. <laughs> so, red Pikmin are resistant to fire. Blue Pikmin are resistant to water. So, it's kind of obvious once you think about it. So, they're going to go over to that thingy. And I'm going to put more there so that they go up there. And they are going to go swarm onto that gear. And I'm going to go check it out. I found the automatic gear. This thing chugs right along at its own pace. It makes piloting much easier giving me time to concentrate on the finer points of space travel. And now they are... <laughs> they just got flipped around there. And yeah, you can take that back to the onion if you want to, I don't really care. Uh, oh, jeez. Those things... Those are sheer wigs, the flying versions of the uh, sheer grubs. Um, I guess I... I guess I was okay with leaving other colors there, actually. You know what, that's kind of slow. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go around here and swarm it like this. I still have yet to get the space float back there. There we come on. <laughs> Boop. Still focusing on the strategy here, obviously. I'm just kind of being clunky this part. <laughs> just how things seem to be going today. I don't know why. So I'm gonna let them struggle with that, even though they're, they're going to have no hope whatsoever at picking that up. It's just my way. And now I'm going to start throwing these down there. Now they should have enough. And it's kind of weird if they make that sound effect when you throw them on something like that. It's kind of like a weird... And, oh, 
They already got that back in time? Well, wow. I mean, they already got it back already. I mean... And this is the automatic gear. It has thin cracks running through it. Well, that's not good. I tried to fill them with dirt. I hope it will be all right. Why would filling it with dirt work? The dirt isn't something that's got a really strong structure. I don't know. Alomar's not the brightest bulb on the tree. <laughs> okay, let's get that to the blues. Because obviously it's a blue pellet. In fact, some of these, yes, these should be... Uh, back up to speed now. As I said, I'm going to be doing stuff in this part that is beneficial to uh, helping me in future parts. In this case, I'm going to be breeding up the blues. Uh, stop tripping. So I was hoping that those flowers would be bloomed eventually. They take, I mean, they're pretty fast at blooming, so it's not really that big of a deal for waiting with them. Um, I wonder if I can get one more ship part, this part, even though it's, even though that's not what I'm exactly aiming for, so to speak. Um, these are multicolored pellet posies here. You want to throw them up there when they're the correct color that you want, so to speak. There is no real correct color, so to speak, because, you know, you can use them for whatever. So, obviously, I'm aiming these for uh, blues. So, I'm going to, yeah, aim to knock them down with blues, because I want to breed up the blues. I'm really stressing the word blue for whatever reason. It's just how things are going, I suppose. <laughs> um, I think all the blues are busy, actually. I don't have any more in my party. Is there any out on the... How do blues get way down there? Are they... Oh, they're coming around with the pellets. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't think. I forgot about them. It's just that I don't have stuff broken down this part yet that would make their uh, travel time easier. Or travel distance faster. I'm gonna drop them there. And... And, oh, they're back. Let's see what they have to say about it. Well, what Olimar has to say about it. An excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this. My motto is, always be prepared. Really, it's just for emergencies. I have now recovered 8 out of 30 parts. If I can just find 4 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Alright, let's see what I can do with these guys here. Because there's a, as I said, another part that I would kind of like to get this part. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pull it off. I need the blues to do it. It's, it's that one right down there. And I don't think I'm going to have enough time to do it, but I can at least get it closer to base. As I said, I'm setting stuff up for the future, and... What the? Oh, there's another color coloring it! Well, I can show you how to save a droning Pikmin, if possible. Come to the land! Come to the land! Oh, one didn't make it. Too bad. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, let's get these back. To the onion. It's just more room for the blues, I guess. Just look at the positive side. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get it back in time. In fact, I should probably start cleaning up the Pikmin because it's getting towards sunset, you know, just to be safe. That are out on the field, just so that they don't get left behind. Mm. I don't need all too many Pikmin to get that uh, jet down there. Or the stabilizer jet down there. But I just want to make sure first that the rest of my team is safe because otherwise I'd lose all of these Pikmin by the end of uh, end of the day. Just want to make sure there aren't any more out in the field before I attempt to go for that thing. Okay, come around here. There's a little slope that you can use to bring your team through. You can't take um like you can't take uh, ship parts through it. It's just there for convenience like the uh, steam jets and whatnot. Right, everyone back in the onion. Uh, should be facing in the correct direction. Yeah. Uh, that ship part down there, like way in the corner there, and that one across on that island are real doozies. And it might it might take a part for just those two alone because of how long it takes to get them. But let's see how things go, I suppose. Alright, I have only blue... On that. See those three numbers at the upper left corner? 
that correspond to Olimar with the dot 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 next to him. I have 35 blue in my party. None of them are, none of the rest of them are out on the field, so everything should be safe. And I just want to know that I'm taking the right path here. I believe this is it. Go down here. And this right here is the number one Ionium jet. There's two of these. It's basically for stability for the ship. Fortunately, this puts out a slightly autofreeous exhaust, but it does propel me <clears throat> to escape velocity in an instant. The stench is a small price to pay for such performance. So, how many? 15, okay. I'm not sure, as I said, if I'm going to get this back in time. Um, there's bomb rocks down here for the yellows later on, but they're so hard to get because you have to actually come down here and then throw them up there and throw them from there up to the upper ledge. It takes forever to get them up there. And yeah, so I don't really recommend going for those bomb rocks. There's a much, much easier set of bomb rocks to go for at a later area. So just kind of like forget about this place entirely. But in order to get the other bomb rocks, which are easier to get, you have to build a bridge to it. It's no big deal, really. It's just the fact that um, you have to set up some stuff and whatnot, yeah. Uh, will you be able to get this back in time? I don't know. I mean, you will come through here because I broke this wall down. That's one of the reasons why I took this wall down, because it's a shortcut. Yeah, you're gonna have plenty of time to do it. We are golden! <laughs> come on, guys! I believe in you! Why are you take making such a wide curve to get up the slope? You could just come right through here but yet they decided to go all the way around here and then loop back in for whatever reason i i don't know <laughs> and here it comes Boop. Boop. this day went a lot more uh, productive than i expected it was gonna go i was only expecting it to, to uh, get two ship parts but i went for this one it paid off if this is damaged, I'll be in dire straits. But he's been able to lift off before. Maybe he can't lift off too far from the atmosphere or something without this. I don't know. I will have to run a system check as soon as I can. I have now recovered 9 out of 3 parts. If I can find just 3 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Woo! Yeah! Is there anything that I can do last minute here? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I can't get anything back to the onion in time. I was clearing out everything near these onions on the first day here at this new place. Not the first day ever, of course, but... Yeah, so I'm just gonna walk around in circles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and despite the onion being really, really far away... The Pikmin will be able to safely make it back to their blue onion because they were in your party. I don't really understand that myself. They actually went in the wrong direction there. <laughs> but trust me, they're going to make it back in time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, you could see the blue onion in the background. They just, they just went the opposite way. <laughs> oh, those enemies. <sighs> Wally Wogs. They are a really, an really annoying enemy. I'll cover them later once I get to the water part of that area, but... Oh. Four days since impact, deep in the cave, I discovered in the forest... Oh, oh okay, I, I misread that for a second. I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills in their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in the water and on land. The waters of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. Let's check our totals. Not too shabby for a start on the blues. I'm going to be getting a load more blues on the next day. But otherwise, I think that is good. I will definitely keep this part. And with that, I'm going to end off the part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.